I'm Sylvia Earle, and I'm in the Arctic at 82 degrees north. Well, we're not quite ready for tropical drinks and bikini bathing suits yet, but where I'm sitting right now, this is pack ice, what's left of it. It's eroding fast. <laughs> now I'm a scientist. People ask me sometimes, so do you believe in climate change? <laughs> do you think that the planet is really warming? And I say, I don't believe or disbelieve. I just look at the evidence and the evidence is all around me, right here. And anyone can see what I can see, what the walruses are experiencing, what the polar bears are experiencing what the birds, what the creatures in the sea, under the sea, are experiencing as the planet truly warms at a rate that's unprecedented in all the history of humankind. And why? <laughs> well, we should look in the mirror for that answer. We are the agents of change. What we put into the atmosphere, excess carbon dioxide through the burning of fossil fuels, is warming the planet. And it's also causing the ocean to become more acidic. These are problems, not just for the bears and the walruses, not just for the Arctic or for the other end of the planet in the Antarctic area. Ice is receding there too. The animals there are affected as well. But the thing is, we're all affected. The polar areas really shape the character of the planet. It's the planet's air conditioning system. The ocean underlies all of it. The ocean governs climate and weather. The ocean is the planet's great thermoregulator. In the polar areas, like right here, there's a magnified effect of the warming. And these areas, Antarctica and the Arctic, have a magnified impact on all the rest. Well, and here's the thing, we, have an impact on these areas. It works both ways. Polar areas affect us and we affect the polar areas. And what we can do right now, this window of time, the next 10 years, you know, it's going to get warmer and warmer and warmer. But we can do things that will make it possible to stabilize the way the world functions, to give the birds, to give the bears, to give life on Earth, including our own lives, a chance, a better chance for a long and enduring history.